All right, it's time to do a little bit NBA action. Of course, NBA is fantastic after that in-season tournament here in Las Vegas. Electric. Las Vegas is the hotbed of a lot of... It's, it's funny how we saw these high-scoring games except for Legion. <laughs> Man, oh, that was so bad. The Golden Knights scored more points than the dang Raiders did on Sunday. First period. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. We're fast-breaking. Okay, okay we we're have talking two. hoops. Yes, let's go ahead and take a look. We have two games on TNT. The doubleheader, the Lakers... Minus two at the Mavericks, the Warriors at the Suns. The Suns, minus three for them. Uh, let's go ahead and what, what do you see with the, the Lake show coming off of that tournament? Yeah, it's a tough handicap, right? Because there's they're coming off the win, the flat spot, as we like to say in the handicapping world. But I thought the Pacers showed up. Now, they only played the Pistons on Monday, but they showed up. One covered yeah. as well. Now, they came off the loss. So the Lakers going to be fat and happy, so to speak. I don't know. Dallas will try to run him into the ground. I'm assuming Kyrie plays. He, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, but I would look to the over, if anything. Problem is the Lakers' size poses such problems. But when the Lakers are sort of checked out, they'll give up 150, yeah. you know, quick. So I would look to the over in that game. I think Luka could have a big day, things like that. Uh, I'm not in any rush to bet the Lakers off a high point of the season. There's, It's Mavs or pass. Over or pass. There you go. All right. How about the the Warriors and the Suns with Kevin Durant being questionable? Yeah, I think right away you got to bet Golden State because sometimes you just have to roll the dice. And if he plays, at some point in the game, you can just bet out of it. You can say cash out, which is an option a lot of sports books offer, or just take the other side plus three and eat the juice, meaning the, not the 10%, because there's such value if he is out that it's worth taking that risk and taking plus three because if he's out, the Warriors might go off as two-point favorites. Gotcha. Um, now, Bradley Beal is expected to make his debut for Phoenix and play alongside Booker. Now, but he's maybe on a minutes count, how much experience is. Now, these guys are savant basketball players, don't get me wrong, but there's still a lack of chemistry there. Yes. Playing alongside one another. Beal can play off the ball, but more and more the last five years, I was going to say he plays with the ball. He's a rock. With the Wizards as opposed to when, earlier in his career. I just think the Golden State's hungry. They kind of want the win. Um, they got to work some stuff out themselves, but they're starting to figure it out at times. They just can't put four quarters together. But if you can get line value, what we talk about is line value. You can get plus three and it goes off minus two. You got great line value. And I think it's worth taking the risk. So overnight, I'm already playing the Warriors plus the points. There was a three and a half out there in the market earlier with Duran. It's, he's such an impact because they're so young and all the sporting cast is built for around him. Like they lost at home to the Kings. They were leading at halftime and they lost by double digits. They're just last week. So, like, when Durant's out, like, it's just a different animal. Now, Booker's been great, but he can only do so much against a team that has a lot of firepower, like Sacramento or like Golden State. So I think that's the right way to play that game. If they were all full strength, I think – I don't think you can really play it because you don't know, how, like, what, how Beal's going to fit. And then how the role players accept and play with their different roles. Like, can Grayson Allen just play seamlessly? Can Okoji – can all these guys – like, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming Nurkic can. It's not like they're coming in, but maybe – yeah, no, that's a lot to consider. A lot to consider. There's also three more games that you're you kind of looking at. Yeah, so on the site, I was, you know, I backed the Nuggets, who were riding three straight losses, got back on track, took care of the Hawks in Atlanta. Now they're back to back road games in Chicago. They're laying eight. Bulls went to overtime with the Bucks. I'm not in a rush to bet Denver. I would, it, for me, it's Bulls or pass. Now, my biggest bet on the site was a prop bet. It was on Kobe White over 29, 28 and a half. Points plus assists plus rebounds. He's gone over every single time that Zach Levine has not played. So he gets the higher usage, higher minutes. I would not play it this time. This is the one time I went because I think Denver's defense yeah. will adjust. And they're off an overtime game. It's back-to-back. -back. Um, it's travel. Even though Chicago's playing at home, they were in Milwaukee. It's a, it's a bus ride. But I just think like the against Milwaukee, just think about the over-under of that game. Like there's, there's terrible defense, whereas the Denver does play good defense. So I, I don't. I just think there'll be a tax on this prop. I think it's going up every single game. You're paying higher and higher juice or numbers. And I don't know if with Jokic out there and Gordon out there, there's not going to be a ton of rebounds for Kobe White. So I just would pass on that prop. So just be careful. Some of these situations are better, like the one against Milwaukee. I wouldn't play the prop in this one. I'd play plus eight if I had to play. So it's like a slight lean in that game. Clippers, they obviously didn't show up against the Blazers. They were 14-point favorites. And Portland was down to, you know, Brogdon and Aiden. They'll be up for this game against Sacramento. And they were playing well up until this game. Like, sort of figured things out. They had one three straight coming in covered. You know, so the, the, I throw out the Monday performance. Question is, can the Kings play, 
hang with a good Clippers team. So for me, it's Sacramento plus four or pass. I'm not laying the four against the Kings with the Clippers, but that's how I would play that. And Boston, I've been betting into them all the time, and I can't win. So they cover every number. They're linked 10 to, to Cleveland, but the Cavs were without Mobley and were without another player, and that's why uh, you know Cleveland keep, they, they lost in Orlando. I think 10 feels like too many, but I'm in no rush to lay it. Gotcha. So it's a lot of complicated games, the fast break with the end. Yeah, and then the layoff of you know, the break, right? There's yeah, some teams that's true. Break. We just don't know how teams will respond. Yeah, I think the Lakers, I think you're good to, to not know what they're going to do. I bet you LeBron doesn't play that much. No need, no need to rush into things. Gotcha. A lot of games out there. Lots of games.